Now let's do a split lip bowl. I have a couple of samples here. Here's one that was just made. In fact, it's bisque. And what makes this split lip is obvious. The lip up here is split and it's decorated or at least it's enhanced. This is a, a double split bowl, a double split rim. Kind of interesting, neat. Nice. Here's a single split rim with the ornamentation, the enhancement of it. So single split coming around this way. So let's make one. Let's we'll see what we come up with here. Head open the clay up. And then large bowls, also in large pieces. I'll just use I use the sponge instead of my fingers in opening it up because it gives it a, a broader surface in which to pull the clay back. Compress my center. Now what we want to make sure we do in the split rim is have enough rim up there to do it. If it's real thin, it's obviously not going to work very well. So as I'm pulling up, I just lighten up the pressure as I come up to the top. I keep compressing the rim compression. Another pull or two. So you go ahead, you do your form. You pull your bowl up and do your form. And use one of my ribs to enhance the form. See up here, right around the, up between the belly and the, and the shoulder, I like to push that out a little bit more from the inside. Bring my tool up, create a ridge on the edge here, on the outside. So this gives us a nice shape this way. Okay, then again keep it compressed, you need a nice flat surface on there. If you can get a good tight shot here, this is probably uh, maybe three-eighths of an inch, well, no it's a quarter inch or more, maybe closer to five-eighths of an inch. Then the tool I use, this is my choice of tools, it's just a stick with a pointed end. Nothing fancy. This one has a, a flat end that I'll use too. But just a pointed stick. And that's what you want. You don't want a, um, a pin tool. That's a little too sharp to create. You need a little bit more surface. This is probably larger than a ballpoint pen. So now I'll go ahead and do my first round. The trick is that this has to be centered. If it's wiggling all over, if it's not centered, you'll never get your rim in there correct. You'll never get your cut into the rim correctly. So by making sure it's, it's perfectly in round and flat, that'll enhance it. The stick is up and down, straight up and down. Or slightly leaning forward is probably best. Slightly moving to the front. I use two hands to control my hand. And then I just drop it into place gently. Let it slide through the clay, go down a little bit, maybe 
angle it to the right a little bit to push it out, to flare it out. Clear the clay. I'll make a double rim. And remove it. So now I've got my two lines in there. little bit, just gently to remove some of the little clay particles in that. Then I'll take my favorite rib, that's this M&M tool number W2B, stop the wheel, and I'll make the first carving on that. It's done this way. Left hand on the inside, tool on the outside, just gently, and you bring the tool up and around this way, just like that. Then move 180 degrees to the other side, oops, oops, do the same thing, now I'll do it in quarters. Have it an ace. Do it once more if you want. So when do you stop? That's your choice. split rim here. Let's, do, let's finish it off with um, trimming the foot on this. So I'll use the trim tool. Go along like this. So we'll give it this rough kind of trimming. And then when it's leather hard, we'll trim it all up a little bit. Yeah. The split rim bowl.